part describes how does the matchstick burn so the history of matchstick is almost 5000 years ago when small pieces of pine dipped in sulfur were used to catch fire to produce fire in the ancient egypt in the modern times the safety match has been developed only about 200 years ago so till 200 years ago earlier there was no matchstick and the fire was burned by using the other substance so what is there in a matchstick which makes it burn another question when you are burning a matchstick you rub the matchstick on the box so why does the wood or the matchstick catch fire why doesn't the box catch fire a mixture of antimony trisulfate potassium chlorate and white phosphorus three things are there antimony trisulfide potassium chlorate and phosphorus with some glue and starch glue is for sticking the substance on the mixture so when you mix the three things and then you produce a matchstick its property is that it will catch fire and the function of when it is struck against a rough surface the white phosphorus gets ignited so white phosphorus quickly catches fire when you rub the when you rub the matchstick over a piece of matchbox so when the matchstick is rubbed over the matchbox the matchbox already has got chemical over it and when the matchstick rubs over it it against the surface while phosphorus got gets ignited so the phosphorus in the matchstick catches fire quickly and then due to heat the matchstick catches fire it starts burning so this started the combustion of the match so burning of the matchstick is everyone knows you have to rub it what is the chemical present on the matchstick which makes it burn these now these days if you observe the matchstick on that it is written safety match so most of the match boxes now the head of the safety match contains only antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate so both of these chemicals which are used for making the top of the matchstick they are antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate the rubbing surface that is match box has powdered glass and red phosphorus so the difference between the matchstick and the match box chemical because both are same chemicals they look same but they are properties are different so the match box contains the rubbing surface has powdered glass and red phosphorus when the match is struck against the rough surface the match box the matchstick's match chemical rubs against the glass and rubs against the base of the match box and the phosphorus gets converted into white this immediately reacts to produce heat and light so this is how the matchstick works it contains different chemicals it contains substances which are different on the match box as well as on the matchstick so when you rub it then the heat is produced in the matchstick and the substance catches fire quickly this is how the matchstick how do we control fire whenever fire is caused then if the fire is being used then it is okay but when the fire occurs by accident then we have to control the fire the you must have heard of burning of fire in home shops and factories if you have seen such an accident you will understand that whenever fire occurs then things are destroyed and the human life also is brought into a threat share the experience and it is if you find out the telephone number of the fire service so you have whenever there is a fire we have to extinguish if the fire is small we can extinguish on our own but if the fire is huge and if it is in large quantity then we cannot control the fire then we will use dial the number of 
fire brigade they will come and they whenever there is a fire when the fire brigade comes you must have seen that they carry large amount of water in a tank which is fitted in a vehicle then they carry a pipe and throw the water they connect it and throw the water on the fire the question here is why is water used to extinguish the fire and how is fire controlled by spraying water on it when water is thrown over the fire the water vapors water becomes hot and it changes into water vapor these water vapors surround the burning substance if there is a fire somewhere you throw water on it because what does the water do the water becomes hot as soon as you throw it over the fire it may become hot when it becomes hot then the fire continues to burn but if the fire stops burning it happens because the substance which is burnt to be burnt it does not burn further so therefore the fire stops you have learned that there are three essential requirements for producing fire how does the fire start what are the three requirements the three requirements for producing any fire are fuel air which means oxygen and heat which is the ignition temperature so three things are required for any substance to catch fire first is the fuel there should be a fuel and it should have supply of oxygen then it should have supply of heat so these are the three things which are required in burning of any fire a substance which can be heated beyond the ignition temperature can be controlled by remo removing one or more of the requirements so there are some objects which are mentioned those objects do not catch fire what does how do we control the fire there are fuel air and heat so to control the fire out of the three we remove one of them fire can be controlled by removing one or more of these the three requirements and the three requirements are you know what are the three requirements out of the three requirements if we remove any one then the fire will stop so when the fire brigade throws water what is the fire brigade doing with the water they throw the water so that the water the fire cools down and when the fire cools down then it extinguishes the fire and this is how ignition temperature is important for burning of any